welcome back to my channel if you're new here then hi hello welcome come on in today we have a plt haul i feel like i haven't done a haul especially a clothing haul in so long on my channel but i finally have quite a few bits i mentioned in my last vlog which went up sunday just gone uh if you haven't seen it go and check it out okay just a little bit of self promo done um i mentioned that i basically am struggling with finding tops i just don't have any tops in my collection i feel and i'm just on a real big hunt for tops and shirts it would seem so i brought quite a few bits and if you guys are interested then please keep watching so i did try this all on yesterday so i already have my thoughts and opinions which i think is good because then when i'm talking to you guys about the article of clothing i can be like oh i liked this or i didn't like this do you know what i mean i feel like this is definitely like a hair behind the ears moment no oh because i get warm Oh, that landed on a mirror. I did not get seven years, but look, do not worry. Okay, first up is a pair of joggers that I had my eyes on for ages, for ages, for ages, for ages. And they finally came back in stock and I picked them up. And they are baggy, oversized cream. Are they cream or white? Hmm. Like a, yeah, I'd say a cream. It is a cream. It has a new PLT embroidered logo there which i actually really kind of like that it's quite minimal but still nice and then at the sides it's just got like a little side panel i won't lie to oh and i loved the waistband on this i love how quite deep it is and how it can get really ruched if you pull it in i was not sold on these i won't lie they didn't have any pockets like the second i put it on like my hands went to find pockets and i was like where are the pockets where joggers without pockets should not exist i don't understand what you're doing joggers without it's like trainers without shoelaces it doesn't i don't get it like joggers need pockets so i am taking them back for that reason and also they're quite a bit see-through um they just uh, the model sold me a dream i won't lie to you guys i thought they had pockets i thought that they were a bit more thick so they're just a bit too thin for me um i like a jogger to be a good sturdy thick-ish material like i still like to be able to breathe but if you can see my pants it's not a vibe do you know what i mean do you know what i mean um, this item, I won't lie, I'm not trying on because, <laughs> I kid you guys not, this is basically yellow to me. This is like a pastel yellow colour. This is not what I expected. This is not what I had planned. Oh, by the way, those joggers, what size are they? I want to say um, extra large. Sorry, I would need to keep the, um, the sizes. This jumper is a size medium. Um, it is not what I expected whatsoever at all um it is picking up quite creamish on camera i feel like it's just like a very pastel yellow i'm not a fan i'm not a fan i'm not even trying that on because i don't want to get any form of makeup on it because i am returning that um i know i've just done two things that i'm returning i'm pretty much keeping everything else so don't worry i grabbed two of the same things yes i am that person that if i like something oh i'm getting it in every color possible um they are the same top one is this beautiful brown shade now if you are familiar with me my channel my instagram sophie liz brad in case you want to follow you know i love brown i love brown i think it's just such a gorgeous soft complimentary color um so i picked up the brown in this and it's basically a long sleeved cropped ribbed top i did get in this in 16 i feel like i could have gone down to a 14 but I'm far as I'm aware, they didn't have a 14 in either. They may have changed it by now if they got new stock. The 16 is still perfectly fine. I feel like when it's ribbed, you've got a lot more to play with because when it's ribbed, it's a lot more tighter and then it stretches out to a 16. I feel like maybe I'm lying. Um, if you have watched the vlog as well, I had the same problem with another top. I just feel like the sleeves are a little bit too loose, like a little bit too baggy, but it's not a big, big, big deal at all. I'm obsessed. I feel like these are tops that I finally found my niche. Like in the vlog, I also tried on um, crop long sleeves tops, and I think that's just my vibe. I love a long sleeve because I don't really love my arms, um, and I love a crop because I like my waist. <laughs> um, and then the other colour I got, was a white um i'm just in love with them they're just perfect they'll go with everything you can dress them up so easy like put a cute skirt on put some coated jeans on amazing you could dress them down baggy jeans boyfriend jeans ripped jeans plain jeans heels trainers boots i just think that these are just versatile pieces that my wardrobe is definitely 
missing. So moving on, I picked up this shirt. I got, oh, like I said, yeah, I got those in a 16. This I got in a size 14. Again, you'll see everything better on the try on as always. Um, but it's like a really nice, it is brown, but it's kind of like a burnt brown. It's not orange. It looks a bit orange on camera, I feel. But it is a brown, but it's more of like a burnt brown, I would say. Um, it's really quite nice. It's quite thin, quite lightweight, which I enjoy. Um, and I have a couple of other shirts from PLT, which I really like as well. Um, I've got a black one and a beige one. Um, and I just feel like you can't go wrong with a shirt. Like, again, this you can dress up or you can dress down. It's nice as even, like, a cover-up, like, on the beach or something. Um, it's not long. It's, like, a normal length. But, I mean, you could still just, like, put a cute pair of flowy shorts on the beach or something. Uh, but, no, I really, really like that. And I got that in a 14, and it's still quite oversized. And then, sticking with the shirts vibe, this one I got in a size 14 again. I must have thought I was skinny this day of ordering. This one is a white sheer shirt. Like, this is sheer. This is see-through. Like, and I'm obsessed with that. I love that. I love this shirt because, again, I feel like you can do so much with it. You can dress it up, dress it down, beach this, swim pool this. You can wear this formally as well, I feel like. But what I really want to do with this is a nice pair of light skinny jeans, a cute heel, and then a coloured uh, a coloured bra I've got a really nice neon green one I've got a blue one a red one like a nice coloured bra and then tuck it in and have it kind of open I love wearing bras as like my top um, I know some people don't like that they can you know whatever I like doing that I enjoy doing that especially if the bra is cute and if it's a colour um, so that's how I want to wear this but then I can also just wear this like baggy t-shirt vibes put this on i'm a big fan i just love shirts i think shirts are great right next up i picked up a pair of shorts now i won't lie to you guys i got these in an 18 did i yeah got these in 18 originally i bought them in a 16 and they fit they were completely fine and um, they actually fit really snug and like really really good on me but my thing is i've realized i kind of like a baggier short around my waist and I think it's because it gives the illusion that my waist is smaller than it is. And every time I go on Pinterest and like I pin any form of short outfit, they have like a gap. And I don't know, it's kind of like a boyfriend style almost. So I did opt for an 18 and these are fine. They are a bit bigger around like the crotch area, especially they are quite baggy there. But I just enjoyed how like mom style they are almost. So they are that loose fitting. I got quite a bit of a gap when I wear them as well. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like that. Maybe I'm wrong. But no, the 16 were fine. But I do find with shorts, I kind of have to size up anyway. So I was not bothered about getting an 18. I was surprised I didn't, maybe didn't even need bigger. I always need bigger for shorts. Um, I don't really know why. Maybe because like with jeans, they're usually like stretchy fabric. I don't know. But on this, at the side, like at the back, they have that logo again. I love this. This is just so 90s. And if you know me, you know I love the 90s. I really wish... That I was older in the 90s. I'm not just born. Um, and then they're frayed. And they have some distressing on both sides as well. And what I love about these is they're not like. You know the hot 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 pants where. I can see my butt cheek. Or I feel like something might happen. They're a little bit longer. So they're still short shorts. But they're not booty shorts. Do you know what I mean? So I'm a huge fan of these. I'm very 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 happy with those. I haven't tried this one in yet. Um, but it is a. <laughs> Um, stone brushed ribbed button front maxi dress and I got this in a size 14 it feels quite nitty and it's basically what it says it's a I would say this is more of like a mid axi or did they call it a maxi or did they call it a midi yeah a mid axi perfect so it's kind of between a midi and a maxi um it's ribbed it's a stonish color it's quite soft no it's not even quite soft it's very very soft um and then you've got the button ups as well i like ones that are you can manually button them up i brought one before where it was sewn up like the buttons were sewn but it wasn't they weren't functioning and i was like but i want to pop some open i want to keep some clothes i want to pop some so i like the ones that you know you can choose if you want them open or long or shut um but yeah basically pretty much what it says on the tin just a mid axi ribbed dress. I love ribbed. I've always loved ribbed and I, I feel like it's coming back into fashion. I say back into fashion. Did ribbed ever really leave? Did it? My bodysuit is ribbed. This cardigan is technically ribbed, but it's like, you know, just like cardigan stitching. <laughs> Pair of trousers I picked up because I had the matching shirt and I've wanted these trousers for ages and I keep thinking I've got nowhere to wear them. But, but, 
hopefully I'm going on holiday in the summer. Fingers crossed. Everyone, please, please keep your uh, fingers crossed for me. Um, and I thought, you know what, I may as well. It was when they had the 25% off. I got all this on the 25% off. Um, so I was like, I may as well just get them. Um, they are the cow flare print trousers. I got these in a 16, 18, 16? 16. I got these in a 16. Um, and they fit perfectly fine. Super happy with them. Like I said, I had the matching shirt as well. Um, in the try on, I'll try and remember to wear the shirt so you can see them. I love this as like a little cute two piece. I would wear this if I'm doing it as like a beach day or like if I'm on if I'm on abroad, which I'm hoping to be in the summer, um, with like a black bikini underneath or a black swimsuit. And if I'm wearing it for like a shopping bit, I would do like a black bodysuit. I have this one in black as well, so I would literally just do that. I think this is kind of like my first cohort that isn't a track suit. Like looking in my wardrobe. No, I've got another one from PLT. I love PLT, man. If you guys ever see this, like, just, just hit me up. This is another one that I am yet to try on as well. I'm not in love with the color. I don't think. Um, but it is just a jumper, an oversized. I got this in a size extra large. Instantly regretting that now that I've unpacked it. That's a very large jumper. Um, I don't love the color. It's a very cool toned like stone-ish colour um, and then it just says Orlando, Orlando what? USA on the front um, but I don't love the colour of this. It's just too cool toned. I have orange hair for god's sake, I need things to be warmed but I thought it was cute. I told you guys I went crazy with tops. This top was in the sale and I do like it right? You guys have to help me with this, okay? Because I'm not returning this stuff until after this video goes live. So please tell me what you think of this. So it's only £9. And you know how I was saying I just need tops? I feel like this is a top that I could possibly use quite a bit. It's going to be hard to show you on cam. But obviously the try-on's better. This I got in a size 14. Everything will be listed down below, by the way. So again, it's a long-sleeved crop top. We'll talk about the sleeves for starters. So they are that like stretchy material so they stick there and you've kind of got like a balloon bit and then a like tapered straight bit there the back is plain and stretchy which is how it all stays up and then the front you kind of have some um lacing detail which i kind of had to pull mine to the tightest for it to look nice but then like these frilly bits didn't sit properly on me but i feel like it's cute and i feel like i might get my use out of it so in the try on clip just let me know what you guys think i feel like that you can just do everything with do you know what i mean like jeans done like jeans pair of heels finito jobs are good on. these next two are again the same the same job different colors but when you see them you'll understand and if you know me you'll understand i just love the 90s i love the 90s i love ripped check brown check halter neck 90s check so this is basically just a crop, oh and a crop check, cropped halter neck tie back, which I'm a huge fan of because it means I can make it the tightest I am. And I've got quite a small waist, if I do say so myself. So it means that I can literally tie it as, ne as much as I need. And what I love the most, and if anyone on here is watching, they've got big boobs, they will appreciate this as well. There is enough fabric to fit my boob. Half of the time with crop tops, there is not enough fabric to fit my boob. And when I see other people wearing it, it's like their boob and then like their, their waist is covered and it comes and sits nicely. And then I buy it and not even like my boob can fit in, let alone the rest of my body. So this having enough space to fit it in, dream come true. Dream come true. But yeah, basically a brown crop. What size did I get this in? Um, 16, I could have done a 14, possibly even a 12 if I'm honest, but YOLO. I feel like because again, it is a tie back, you can alter it. So, and to be fair, if I got a smaller size, they might have cropped out this. So 16 and then I can just literally tighten it to there. I'm happy. And then I got it in like a lighter mocha kind of color, a lighter like, not caramel, what color did they call it? Stone. I don't think that's very stone. It's quite warm still. Um, but yeah, got those two. So so happy the final item that i picked up i put this on my instagram to ask is it too baggy and too oversized and most people said no um and to keep it so this is i got this in a size 12 it is the brown check abstract abstract print extreme oversized shirt dress 
so like i said i got this in a 12 and it's still oversized i could have possibly even gone down to an eight it does say it's a shirt dress i will not be wearing it as a dress i will be wearing it as a shirt i have a super long torso so when things are like shirt dresses like they barely go past my bum bum cheeks so i'm not gonna wear it as a dress but as an oversized shirt even with the halter neck and like a pair of white ripped jeans i love white jeans i'm that person on the 90s told you baggy boyfriend jeans whatever you want to do with it um or a pair of shorts like anything you want um i just thought it was cute really really happy with this but i just don't know if it's too oversized so like i said i'm not gonna make any of the returns until this video goes live so let me know what you think about that and all the other bits especially that little crop brush top that i was talking to you guys about but that is it for my plt haul i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what your favorite item was let me know if you're going away on holiday as well i'm really hoping that the summer one happens like fingers crossed everything crossed please keep everything crossed for me if you did enjoy this then please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to comment if you're new here please subscribe fancy sharing my videos so everyone can see and until next time i will see you guys in my next one bye we can watch some TV, watch some Netflix if you want.